we got one that's banded, we'll have to maybe look it up and see. Alright guys, we're down here on the Neosha River in Oklahoma and we're uh, spoonbill or paddle fishing and this is the setup I got here. Uh, you can use a heavier catfish rod for how we're doing it, but I got this one. You got the hook, we don't have any size regulation down here, and then I'm just running a four ounce weight right now. You can run bigger or smaller depending on what the current is. Well, we're running about three miles an hour today. See in the back there's bluff balls. It's a sharp bluff, and that's what we're focusing on. And I'm just kind of casting back to start. I'm letting a little bit of line out and I'll start checking that. You start all the way back and I kind of pull forward and then as you're going back you should feel the weight hit the bottom. If you're not, you don't feel the weight hitting the bottom, either let more line out or you might need a bigger weight. Sweep it forward and you kind of just let it fall back and you should feel it thump the bottom and then when it thumps the bottom you rip again you pull it back. If you're not getting that thump on the bottom, uh, either up your weight or maybe run your line a little bit farther back off the back of the boat. You kind of just rip. Let it drop. Yep, there we go. Now I'm now I'm feeling it thump. And that's how we're working it, just like that. Yeah, under the... Just caught this nice, looks like a male spoonbill paddlefish. First one of the trip. Just been out here maybe an hour, I think. Yeah. Just got him, got him hooked in the back. All right, check that out, guys. It's banded. I don't know how many of them are banded in here, but we got one that's banded. We'll have to maybe look it up and see what's all going on with it. But that's pretty sweet, right? All right, there, guys. All right, so there's just a cheekbone here right behind it. It's gill. We're going to run along that cheekbone, get behind it, cut around. So that cheekbone right there, you can feel it when you feel these. It's just right there. Then we're going to go from the back of the tail here. The R12 is a tad short for the paddlefish. I have to come down along here. Yeah. Like you'll see it, and it'll open up like that. Kind of touch it. Get the rest of it off here. And you got the fillet right there. You kind of have, it's not really a rib cage, but it is a rib cage, and you kind of just skim that, skim that meat off. So I get all that white gunk off like that. And kind of end up with that. We'll trim up the red meat later. We'll clean it up a little bit, let it soak into water maybe. Get rid of all that stuff, it's like little bones. Trim it all off. Slide it to the edge here. Grab that and get under it. Just let it slide along the skin. Testing the limits of the R12 with the paddlefish. Oh, you can tell even like, yeah. look how much better. I don't know if you guys can see that, but see that meat compared to that meat. So we're just kind of trying to skin it as best that we can.
everyone.